張る,る大丈夫これ頑張れ頑張れだって君頑張れ頑張れおいゴージョサトルはよいき展開よいき展開ズクマンミスうわうらくしや What's up, guys? So, Chujutsu Kaisen 250. Shit is insane, okay? But with the new JJK chapters released, there's a lot of talk online about why Sukuna would use Hollow Basket and not Simple Domain. So, I thought I'd make this short little video and tell you what the difference is between Hollow, Wicker Basket, and Simple Domain. Because there's a couple of differences. So, let's hop up in this. So, in chapter 248. Sukuna gets put into Yuta's domain expansion and immediately casts Hollow Wicker Basket, nullifying the sure hit technique innate to Yuta's domain. But why is he using Hollow Wicker Basket? I see this so often online. And Hollow Wicker Basket, after all, needs him to use two out of his four arms to keep the Jutsu up.、Um, with Or the curse technique up, or whatever.、Um, with simple domain, he would have all four arms ready and would be able to use them and easily fight Yuta and Yuji, right? Well, actually, it's a little more complicated. So let's see what, what the problem is here. Let, let's explain Hollow Wicker Basket. So, Hollow Wicker Basket is the original simple domain, it's the basis for all simple domain. Things that are going to be explained here. So, it's the first way of countering a domain's hit effect.、Um, it's created specifically for sorcerers unable to expand their own domain and force a clash of domains.、Um, Hollow Wicker Basket is basically the prototype of Simple Domain. Its main function is to counter domain expansions only. Hollow Wicker Basket basically neutralizes the barrier of a domain in order to negate the guaranteed hit effect. To cast Hollow Wicker Basket, one must constantly do the hand signs, and as soon as you stop doing the hand sign, Hollow Wicker Basket also stops giving protection. So, th that's basically all there is to Hollow Wicker Basket. Hollow Wicker Basket does not have any extra usages,、um, or,、uh, like, unlike Simple Domain, which can be used in multiple ways offensively, defensively. Hollow Wicker Basket number one's bonus is the fact that as long as you can keep your hands together and cast and chant the spell, you are 100% safe from the sure hit effect. But it has no other uses. So if your opponent does not have the sure hit effect, like Hakari's domain expansion, using it is a waste. Simple Domain, on the other hand, has multiple uses and in some ways is the upgrade to Hollow Wicker Basket, but it also has some downsides. So, Simple Domain is a domain that does not have an innate curse technique to it, so that the other curse technique is flowing into the domain and not into the user. Unlike Hollow Wicker Basket, Simple Domain does not constantly need to be channeled. Curse, once the barrier technique is up, it'll be useful for as long as the cursed energy output of the simple domain、uh, is used up. After that, simple domain will break and force the user to recast it or use another technique like we've seen in Gonjo vs. Sukuna and in multiple other fights. Unlike Hollow Wicker Basket, this technique cannot be held up for as long as one wants to. Um, it has a certain limit to it and a suit has to be recast after it's destroyed. Meaning the user is going to take damage if he can't neutralize the sorcerer or barrier in time. Alright, so we got this. We got this out the way. Unlike Hollow Wicker Basket, Simple Domain also has offensive uses. So I can offensively use Simple Domain to attack the enemy. How do I do that? So, for example, Kasumi Miwa, for example, she uses Simple Domain, you see it multiple times, to automatically slash people that enter her domain with the Battle Sword drawing technique.、Um, you see her do that multiple times. Also, the other guy with the katana, he also does that stuff. More examples of using it offensively.、Uh, Mekamaru. Um, Muta imbues simple domain into the、uh, medicinal tubes that he fires at Mahito. And it gets complicated here, but bear with me.、Um, I know a lot of people are really confused about this very specific thing in the Jujutsu Kaisen uh, uh, fandom. 
So what is happening is Mecha Maru's simple domain is basically affecting Mahito's soul as he's unable to use idle transfiguration as it basically neutralizes his curse technique. So which is affecting the, the, the body and, and the, the soul and the bodily form and like because Mahito is able to separate these two from another to uh, not take if he takes physical damage his soul won't it won't be hurt but because of the domain it stops idle transfiguration so he's taking the, the direct damage to the soul from attacks that are being thrown at him by Mechamaro. Another domain which I don't really understand because it's uh it's like there's not a single domain uh, simple domain that works in this way but whatever it's of roku juzi i hope that's how you pronounce his name the sumo guy and his simple domain is basically a wrestling barrier and uh, it makes time go by super fast so monkey and him they did like a thousand sumo rounds in there but it was like only a couple of seconds for like everybody else um and the reason why it's uh, a simple domain is probably because the other person has to agree to a fight against him in the sort of binding wow and isn't just attacked once entering the domain like he would be in a normal domain expansion but his 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 use of simple domain is like absolutely unique in the whole manga so i don't know if there's more to it if there's like other people that can do stuff like this but he has a very interesting simple domain that we don't really see anywhere else and i know this is unrelated but i know you're asking what is domain amplification now, domain amplification is basically the coding of oneself in your own domain this domain then can like be used offensively so for example as we have seen um in J jogo and hanami versus gojo and also with sukula versus gojo basically what Gojo explains is like barrier techniques basically box a target in um, but like the main amplification surrounds oneself with water that emulates the feeling of pushing back against the domain. Chogo and Hanami use it to pull Gojo's limitless, the, the infinity that's between Gojo and everybody else. They, they use this domain to push against gojo's limitless and therefore pour it into their domain to neutralize infinity in that way so once amplified you are unable though to use your innate curse technique which we saw with uh hanami um where he died a horrible death because he chose to um uh switch to using his innate curse technique therefore he wasn't amplified enough and then he got crushed by gojo's infinity to infinity that is basically everything there is um i hope you guys understood a little more on what the fuck is going on because i get it it's complicated to some of you but i don't think it's that deep i really don't think it's that deep i think like the internet made people think it's way harder to understand than what it is it's like actually kind of simple i believe and yeah um I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a subscription for more fun content um, like this. Um, I'm done with university. I'm looking for a job right now. I have so much time on my hands. I'll definitely upload way more in the future. So, <sighs> I'll see you fellas soon and keep on reading that manga. Have a blessed day.